when I was in high school, I was a good athlete, just living the life. As soon as I went to college, there were guys three times my size that could run just as fast. Instead of being a big fish in the pond, you were the, yeah. the, the minnow in the ocean. Yeah. In high school, I was an all-star running back. And I had that mindset to where I was always the best. I got recruited to play at the Naval Academy, and I was instantly humbled. I wasn't the best anymore. I was just a number. That was the most humbling experience of my life, and it created that doubt, you feel. But getting over it and finding myself a little more helped me to become a stronger person. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who has these self-doubts, so it's good to hear this guy who's just this big, muscly stud <laughs> say that sometimes, you know, he's, he's been in those situations, too. So today, we'll have fun, and we'll just work hard, and yeah. yeah, I don't want to go into overtime. And I definitely don't want no another overtime. I know you do. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> Oh, Swifty, I'm gonna go there. I don't mean this in any bad way, but yeah. I didn't want any brothers or sisters to be the first to be eliminated. I As just a did black it. person, As you think that, right? Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, I didn't Sorry, see, I know. Guys. That, yeah, I don't like... take offense. That's, it's, it's, it's good to hear that point of view because I wouldn't even have thought that. Like, As a brother. black, As yeah, a black I, person, I, I was I like. I immediately noticed that I was the one I representing like, not my the, 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 yeah. the black my, male. My, I, my black I carry that burden like, ah. I feel pressure being the only black man, yeah. It's nothing new. I feel that pressure every day. I always have to make sure that I cross my T's and dot my I's, so it's another day for me. Being, I know, black and being in that spotlight, you you just you just can't stop, so you can't that, drop the ball. You just can't, you can't. You're on a big platform. Oh my gosh, like that's so that's so much it's so much pressure on you guys that I wouldn't even have thought about. You know? Yeah, that's, yeah. It's a lot of pressure being black. It, it is. As a black female working in a male dominant profession, sometimes it's so daggone exhausting. There's been times I'm sitting around the table where no one looks like me. Every word that I say, if I make a mistake, I know I'm screwing it up for the next person who looks like me to sit at the table. So I put a lot of pressure on myself to perform the best every time. I, I didn't even think about it, but I'm so proud to have like three strong black teammates that I love and I'm like your family now to me. Like it's, it makes me so, like I, get, I got chills. I like. Well, and I feel comfortable talking about being black in front of you guys. Cause Good. sometimes yeah. it's not comfortable talking about being black okay. in front of. No, it, white people. Yeah, yeah it's cause just, some white people just don't understand. Sure. You sure. know? Well, and we don't, to be honest. Like, being a, a white man from Utah, I, I don't understand fully your guys' right, situation. Like, that, I don't, yeah. we don't. But that doesn't mean I can't love you. Yeah. And, like, I yeah. can't respect yeah. you. And or, or at least attempt to understand where I'm coming or from. Try right. to see, that's, or that's try to see where you're coming it. from. That's it. That's the biggest thing.